send you guys love and light. Thank you to everyone who's like, shared, and subscribed. If you hit the notification bell, if you've purchased the reading, if you've donated to my page, thank you so much. If you have not, please do so that you know when I'm here. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, it just does not resonate, okay? Don't try and force it. This is for Aquarius. Okay, you have the love life card. Okay, rose quartz. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Okay, so some of you are walking towards love, okay? Whether it be with a previous person or a new person. Okay, some of you have both. You may have a new person coming at you and you may have someone that you're already connected with. You may be trying to figure out if you need to choose between the two people. Okay, but your heart is ready for love. Um, at this time, you know, you guys may have went through something to where you had to release yourself from someone may have been very, very painful. Um, and you guys were saying, hey, I, I just don't want to be in love or have love in my life for now. But some sort of crush or some sort of courtship or something happened here where you found yourself caring about another person or more than one. Okay. Some of you, if you're currently or, or were in a relationship, you may be going back to that person. You may be falling back in love with someone, okay? Now, if this is not you falling in love with the person, this is you falling in love with you and your life and valuing the things that you want to get done, the things that you need to do for yourself. This is you focusing on your blessings and what, you know, makes you... Uh, what makes you feel grateful, if that makes any sense? The things that get you up in the morning, what makes you tick, okay? Spirit wants you to stay connected. It wants you to always uh, make sure that you're you're talking to them, you're, you're letting them know how you feel, even though they know, you know, they want to be a part of your life, they want to be a part of your journey. Let's see what's going on here with this Aquarius. Okay, you guys are raising your vibration. You're getting in tune with the universe. You may have a community or uh, a social circle around you where um, you guys are speaking about this, okay? Um, some of you went through a period of dealing with a revengeful type of person in a relationship, okay? You may be going back to this person. Um, new chapter development because some of you or one of you feels like there's unfinished business to tend to or maybe you know you want to just explore uh, this person once more for some of you you're walking away from this type of uh, situation where you were in a, a relationship with someone that didn't work uh, that person may have wanted a new chapter with you you know, you may have felt like this person controlled you a lot or they were controlling. You could have children with this person, right? You could feel like this person uh, may have tried to control you also. Um, I hate to say it, but with a little bit of spell work, this relationship could have ended in the winter time, right? Someone may have drank a lot or, or kept themselves intoxicated in some nature, um, this, you're very nostalgic about this person or this person is very nostalgic about you. Um, spirit of the past tells me that this could be, um, some sort of soulmate. Um, but a cycle is coming to an end with this person where you're going to need to cleanse and heal your emotions. Um, you guys take it how it resonates for you. I see two different scenarios here. People that are giving the ex a chance again and people that are walking away from an ex. <sighs> Ending a cycle. Okay, that's why it says new or renewed romantic love is here for you. Yeah, these cards don't lie, y'all. It is what it is. Let's see what this is here. Three of Cups. You guys may be hanging out with your friends. Um, after someone, yep, after they stabbed you all up here, after they gave you some bullshit. And hurt you really bad. You guys could just be trying to get your bearings back. And here's the wheel. This is telling us that you're going to have 
Um, this is the end of a cycle, okay? Like you guys, they, there's there's um, karma here, good or bad, for whomever did what. You guys are going towards positive changes in a relationship. The universe is bringing you a, a, a love interest or soulmate. Uh, so for those people on that side of the spectrum of this reading, you know, congratulations that you've gotten away from such a turn to tumultuous time okay in your life and you're going forward and ending this the three of cups for me is a time where uh this is cancer energy this is you hanging out with friends and celebrating thinking about you know the things that matter in your life how you want to get there what you would like to do you may be strengthening emotional bonds too that you have with people okay um you may be trying to work towards that again cancer energy Ten of Swords is um, Gemini energy. End of end of a cycle. End of the backstabbing. End of you know people verbally or physically attacking you. End of something that went on for a long time for some of you, but you have a new beginning that's here. Okay, and as per this wheel, like I said, the new beginning is coming, and you're ending a cycle of something here to where you're gonna have to cleanse and heal yourself and go forward cycles are ending here as well okay you guys may be having dreams about this you may be having dreams about certain people pay attention to those dreams at this time the divine could be giving you some insight okay i'll send you all love and light you guys take care